And even though there's a thousand different ways to do scenery, I'll give you a short little tutorial on how I do this. Uh, I think my way is pretty quick and easy. The uh, methods I use are not anything unique or different, just one of many thousands of ways to do scenery. So hold on a second here and we'll get set up and uh, do a short section of scenery. These are the items I use, uh, some hairspray, paint, some foliage materials, uh, and static grass machine. I'm going to do this little short section right in here and uh, show you how quick and easy this can really go down. So stay tuned here, hold on a second. Okay, I'm going to do this off a tripod so I can use both my hands and move around a little bit. First things first, paint. I'm going to slap down some of my brown paint that I like to use for the ground cover. Uh, paint choice, paint colors is entirely up to you. Whatever you feel like is good. I don't think there's that much difference in all the browns. Slopping it on pretty heavy, so thin down paint. Um, usually, we like to cut. If we're going to use paint for scenery. You just like to cut it 50/50 with water. Play old ordinary acrylic, cheap paint, cheapest stuff you can find. As long as you like the color, that's all that counts. Slopping it down pretty good, nice and heavy. Notice we got the track covered because we're going to make a mess here. These little uh, caps off of the hairspray cans are really good for hope, covering up the switch stand so they don't get the static grass or anything on them. Okay, we have our little section here with wet paint on it. Next thing I like to use is dirt. This is just plain old ordinary sifted dirt out of my front yard. I'm going to put down some of this, give it a good coating of it. Almost done, actually. Um, that's done. Next thing is hairspray. Uh, Aquanet, unscented, uh, super extra hole, I think is about the best there is. <clears throat> Holds good, has less stink to it, so. This not only helps the dirt adhere better to the paint, it's also going to give me a little bit of a more sticky thing for the next part. And the next part is static grass. I'm a lover of static grass. Right. Uh, whatever machine you use doesn't make too much difference I don't think. One thing I do like to do is use two or three different lengths and colors of static grass. I like to mix them beforehand. And I'll take a little bit. I find it's best not to use too much at one time in the machine and then we'll just apply the static grass all through here. I'm a static, static grass freak. I just love static grass. I think it's one of the best things ever invented as far as scenery goes. Covers well. And we'll keep going with our static grass. I think I mixed up enough to cover this area, but we'll see. But one thing I like to do too is I like to let the ballasting of the track go to last. 
Um, that way I can run the ballast out onto the surrounding scenery, kind of like what, uh, what you do in real life. Getting a good coating of uh, static grass on on here. And of course, I didn't allow for enough grass, so I'm gonna have to mix up some more. You hold on one second; I'll be right back. Mixed up some more static grass, plenty more enough to get this little section done down here. Let's finish this up. There, that, that should be plenty. Okay, turn the machine off. And the only other thing I'll put in here is uh, bushes. Do some bushes. Now I like black polyfiber, but uh, I know there's a lot of green out there. Black's kind of hard to find at times. So we're just going to stick down some of these little clumps, thin as possible, clumps of this black polyfiber. Black's good because it gives the idea of shadows for any, any area that uh, shows through. Whoops. And we just pick it out, spread it out, make it as thin as possible. We'll try that and see how that works. Back to our hairspray. Now foliage for the bushes. Again, we're going to use a couple different colors. Start out with some kind of a dark color. We'll sprinkle it around all over top of the bushes and such. Get some on the surrounding grass, don't worry about it, it makes it look better, it ties it in better. one color. This other one's a bit lighter. It also has some little uh, yellow flecks and stuff in it to make it look almost like weeds and flowers. It's going to help tie everything together, I think. I think it actually gives it a better overall look. That's 
that's it for that. Another little coating of hairspray. Kind of tie everything down. Keep everything away from the tracks. And that's it. That's done. I'll put some uh, stones or some sticks or anything around in there later after everything's all done, ba tracks ballasted. But basically that's the scenery I've done. Didn't take probably five minutes to do that, okay?